Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about large time frames and we will figure out what's going on with the stock market. Is it still bullish? Let's do technical analysis review. As usually, let's move to five rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for trading view. We are going to talk about large time frames, like I said. Uh, Let's start from stock market hit my base on all, all USA companies, market cap and weekly performance. Large cap, still green, technology green, finance red, energy red, utilities red, a lot of sectors, consumer durables red, a lot of red sectors, like I would say 50-50, right? Let's see monthly. Monthly, similar high tech, large caps green. A lot of you know, Amazon red and also energy red, still like 50% companies red. And quarterly, quarterly large caps, still greens, small caps red. Looks like only large caps happening. Now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis. If you want to learn more about trading with setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading with setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup I'm using. Simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5, and below yellow line RSI line and Heikadachi bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions are well. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, green circle, when SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over red and bars move above SMA5, it was entry for bullish trend. Red circle, when it was sell signal, SMA5 green line did bearish crossover over red, it was entry for bearish trend. That's how it works. As of now, last bar was below all moving averages. Price action was bearish. RSI was bullish. It's a bullish divergence. Bullish divergence is condition of the market. It's not a signal. That's why market uh, DXY wants to get bounced. And it did get bounced last Friday. Last bar above all moving averages. It is bullish signal. Weekly time frame for USA dollar is still bearish. MA5, SMA5 did bearish crossover over 10. Still bearish crossover, last bar still above SMA20, bullish territory. Monthly time frame for, for USA dollar. SMA5 green line did bullish crossover over 10 and 20, last bar above all moving averages. Still in the bullish territory. USA dollar on monthly still bullish territory. And quarterly the same. Last bar still above all moving averages, still in the bullish territory. Looks like, yeah, still bullish. Dollar is still bullish. It still continue to go bullish. Pretest to make it double top, right? Pretest all time high. Recent all time high. Okay, now let's move to NASDAQ. Now let's start from NASDAQ, right? Let's start, start daily. NASDAQ daily bullish, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI, weekly time frame, same story, bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI, nothing changed, right? This one. Bullish trend, bearish divergence, and monthly. Still the same, bullish trend. And bearish divergence on RSI. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. And quarterly, same story, bullish trend, bearish divergence. Bullish trend and bearish divergences on all time frames. No bearish reversal signal yet. Last bar disconnected from all moving averages, bullish trend. Lines below, it's a 
expect we are expecting correction maybe this year maybe next year that will be support lines for the future collect corrections so far trend is bullish no bearish reversal signal at all only condition condition market is building negative condition is building bearish it means market someday will change direction to bearish because the old conditions ready for it just we need trigger so far no trigger yet <laughs> same as s&p 500 let's start at s&p 500 daily light right bullish trend bearish divergence on rsi same story weekly weekly s&p 500 same story bullish trend bearish divergence no bearish signal still bullish weekly monthly monthly bullish trend and the same same trend like for uh, nasdaq bearish divergence right last bar still above all moving averages bullish trend and quarterly quarterly same story bullish trend and bearish divergence even from 2018 bullish trend with bearish divergences multiple bearish divergences with bullish trend no bearish signal yet below lines yellow green red it's expected support lines for the future correction still bullish trend let's see weeks weeks still at the bottom you see blue line it's a bottom from 1995 for last four years it is uh, it is in, at the bottom usually from this place you see here 2020 what it did it did huge reversal right in 2020 it was pandemic here was 2007 from the bottom it was huge reversal also it was 2007 crisis and same here in 2000 right 2095 yeah, a different 2000 is different but also was spikes it was active now but usually from this level we did expect some bounce Dow Jones Dow Jones let's start Dow Jones weekly bullish trend but last bar just touched SMA 20 it's kind of reverse but still sma5 above all moving averages still positive but bearish divergence on rsi and trend is in the reversal state weekly right the daily daily it did bullish cross over in the bullish reversal signal. monthly monthly dow jones last bar still at the sma five level still bullish trend monthly still bullish trend bearish divergence on rsi and quarterly bullish trend and bearish divergence for rsi right let me change color on this one so let's say bullish trend bearish divergences from 2018 for dow jones iwm russell 2000 same story let's start as a let's start from weekly right russell 2000 did huge reversal on weekly time frame last week it was powerful red bar it is reversal and close below ma sma 20 yellow line sma 20 yellow line strong support it can bounce from it like it did bounce from 200 can bounce from 20 also still in bullish territory still positive monthly time frame last bar still above all moving averages still in the bullish territory yeah it stopped at the gap bullish trend still in the bullish territory monthly and quarterly quarterly same story last bar about all moving averages bullish 
Bereit. Apple. Apple, let's start. Weekly Apple, right? And before start before start equity, let me go over and to performance, right? Review for Qs. For Qs year to date plus 14%. We are in the second quarter, one month to go. Great performance, 14% for the last five months. S P 500 year to day almost 12 and a half percent. 12.5% positive for the last five months. Dow Jones, year to day, uh, year to day for Dow Jones plus 3.65%. It's not so powerful like SP and, and NASDAQ. And Russell 2000, year to day, almost 1% positive. That's what we have percentage-wise performance. Now let's move to Apple. Let's start Apple Weekly. Apple Weekly, uh, it didn't touch yet all time high. Still a few bucks to go. Yeah, three, four bucks to go. I, I believe it will make all time new high. Still bullish trend, right? On daily, on weekly, still bullish trend. Monthly, Let's see, bullish, still bullish trend is building bearish divergences, but trend is still bullish. Quarterly, bullish trend, yeah, it, yeah, it definitely has huge bearish divergence and is building, still building bearish divergence, bullish trend. Tesla. Tesla, let's see quarterly. Let's start quarterly. It did bounce from the oversold territory and for last several weeks, five weeks, right? It did touch five times SMA 20 and looks like it cannot break it out. Maybe it will be rejected from SMA 20 and it will continue bearish. We will see. So far on bearish, still in the bearish territory on, on weekly. Monthly. Monthly last bar still below SMA 5, 10 and 20, still in a bearish territory. Monthly, monthly, Tesla still bearish. Waterly, same story, last bar below SMA 5, 10, 20, still in a bearish territory. Tesla, quarterly, still negative, still bearish. Nvidia, Nvidia, we know that the most powerful, right? Weekly time frame, let's see weekly. Bullish trend, bearish divergence on other side, started from here from 2000s. Still, yeah, bullish trend, last bar disconnected from all moving averages, bearish divergence, bullish trend. Monthly, monthly, same story, bullish trend, right? And bearish divergence on the side. And last bar disconnected from all moving averages. Huge disconnection will be painful correction possible. And quarterly, same bullish trend and bearish divergence on the side. Huge disconnection. Bullish trend. I believe Nvidia now is number one, just past Apple and Microsoft. I could be wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, now let's let's see. Let me let me see. Yeah, right. Market cap. Okay, now let's yeah, let's move to Microsoft. Now it's in Microsoft. Microsoft, let's start from weekly. 
Last bar is still above all moving averages, still bullish trend. And monthly. Same last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergence, still bearish divergences on bearish diver divergence on RSI. Trend is bullish. And quarterly bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI, big time, right? Bullish trend with bearish divergence. Uh, yeah, so far still bullish. It's kind of last bar quarterly, but quarter is not ended. Possible if last bar will be uh, will be dodgy bar possible like it was here. It doesn't mean anything. It could be reversal, but it could be not reversal because here it was dodgy bar, but we did continue bullish. Okay, bullish trend. Uh, Amazon. Let's start Amazon weekly. Weekly, it was huge move. We did bounce from MA20. SMA20, nice bounce. Closed about all moving averages, bullish territory. Monthly bullish trend, right? Last bar still about all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergence on the other side. Last bar disconnected from 20, bullish trend. Quarterly, uh, quarterly still bullish trend. Look at it. And bearish divergence on the RSI. And last bar disconnected from the SMA 20. Bullish trend. Google. Let's start Google weekly. Weekly bullish trend. Last bar above all moving averages. No changes. Monthly bullish trend, last bar above all moving averages, and bearish divergence on RSI, and RSI touched overbought territory. It could be rejection from this overbought territory. Bullish trend. And quarterly for Google, bullish trend and bearish divergence on RSI. That's all bullish trend with bearish divergence. And Meta, Meta Weekly, last bar just bounced from SMA 20 and above all moving averages, bullish trend, Meta by signal. Monthly time frame, last bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend also. And let's see quarterly, quarterly. Quarterly, it is bullish with huge bearish divergence on RSI or Meta. That's all. That's all so far. Just let's do summary. USA dollar still kind of also bullish. And at the same time, all equities and uh, indexes still in the bullish trend and the, all of them they have bearish divergences on all time frames but so far no any bearish reversal signal yet still for investors still bullish trend no bearish reversal signal yet that's all now let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only Remember, for educational purpose, we are using Paper Training Simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Training Style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.